Hey guys, Dirty Keto Grandma here. Whoo! Oh, welcome back. This is just a quick short. I just got out of the bath and I came right in, I'm resting my head. I thought I'd do a uh, mental health check in here on Monday, the start to the week. Uh, I just took a severely hot bath, so I'm a little overheated, but I wanted to uh, check in with y'all on this Monday. Uh, we just shot Sunday Fun Day yesterday with Bub, and it went really good. It was just a long day. Uh, I was exhausted last night. Uh, I woke up this morning with a dull headache. And I felt a little bit better after we took our walk. And then I came back and my husband got ready for work and left. And I got ready, did my workout. After I did my workout, oh, my head was just pounding, pounding. Well, I got done out a little bit early, so I took a few aspirin, laid down. Oh, it just made me sick to my stomach, propped myself up. Started to turn into a full-blown migraine because I started feeling like I was, you know, going to vomit. Started getting kind of nauseous. <sighs> so right away, I'm like, uh, by that time it was, I don't know, six something. I'm not even sure. I'd have to check my phone. So I texted my boss and I'm like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, I got a horrible headache. It was a dull head. Like, I, I always have to offer an explanation. I don't just call off or call in and say, hey, I'm not coming in. I just let her know, like, hey, I woke up with a dull headache. It's kind. Of, I worked out, did my walk, turned into kind of a migraine, make me feel sick to my stomach. I'm not going to be in. Sorry. And, of course, she's super like, I hope you feel better. I said, do you want me to call her to the office? No, don't worry about it. Hope you feel better. Oh, uh, I tell you what, man. I'm like, let me go try to maybe take a hot bath. Get rid of this headache. It does feel better, but, you know, just with this mental health thing, as soon as I called off, oh, let me sit up a little bit. So when I lean back, it kind of hurts. As soon as I called off, man, I'm like, it, the, the anxiety immediately kicks in. Uh, my heart starts racing. I feel guilty for calling off, even though I have a legitimate excuse. It's not like I'm 17 and I'm calling off because I partied too hard last night, or I just don't feel like going in, or I'm being lazy, or I am just woke up in a funk and I'm like, uh, I just don't want to go to work. But of course, I start guilt tripping myself, and the anxiety kicks in, and I'm guilty of or feeling guilty of not going to work i'm gonna feel guilty all day i'm sure uh, i'd say if at some point i feel better i'd go in but then i just start feeling like super depressed you know like oh my mom would be so disappointed in me like who calls off because of a headache just take a few aspirin Grab life by the bootstraps and go to work. You just do what you got to do. That's like a lame excuse for not going. But, man, once that depression kicks in and I start thinking about my mom, it's like I go right to a dark place, man. And, look, I'm usually like I try to be the ultimate positive vibes only, like peace, love, and light. Like just I try to be that way. I try to see the positive and the negative. But man, when that depression and anxiety on top of it, you know, like I said before, you don't care about anything, you don't want to do anything, but with anxiety, you worry about everything, and you feel like you have to do everything at once, and if you don't, you just, blah, blah, blah. oh, it's just, man, hold on, it's starting to pound again, so I just thought I'd share, man, my bar. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Look, I know you guys aren't tuning in here to see me on my rough days. And you're coming here for positive encouragement. <sighs> and inspiration to stay on the right path. And that's what I'm doing, man. I'll turn it around today. 
I'll find that light. I'll get out of this darkness. I'm probably going to lay down for a little bit. And uh, get rid of this headache, first of all. If I get rid of the headache, I'll feel much better. It'll put me in a better place and a better mindset to have a better day. But you know what I mean? I'm always trying to laugh at work and be jo jovial. I think that's what they call it when you joke and you laugh. And, you know, I was never like the class clown like in when I was a fat kid in school and even high school and even as a young adult. And even here till recently, I stay pretty quiet. But when I do talk, I like to joke and laugh and make fun and be super sarcastic because that's what people do when they're... Whew, shit. When people are sad on the inside, a lot of the times... They pretend like they're happy and everything's okay on the outside. So check on your happy friends, okay? You know? When you hear about comedians, Robin Williams, musicians, Mac Miller, Chester Bennington, many more, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I can go on and on, man. Many people fake it until they make it or till they break it and it's too late. So check on your happy friends. And hey, I'm going to get rid of this headache. I'm going to find my happy place and I'm going to get right back on track. I'm going to jump on that horse. And I'm going to get right back on track and stay inspired, <clears throat> stay positive, stay motivated, and stay focused. And I want you all to do the same. I just thought I'd share a little with you this morning on this Monday. I know I look like stir-fried crap, but... Like I was going to say, my daughter always tells me like, hey, mom, when you're thinking about because I was like, oh, I always have so much in my head that like, you know, with the anxiety and not just anxiety, but I just a lot of people have this where you have so many thoughts, your train of thoughts just run rapid all the time that you got to stop and write that stuff down sometimes. So I got me a little, a little it's not going to be like a journal, but just a little book that like anytime I feel like I've got something I want to talk about with you guys and share, I'm going to write it down and share it. I'm going to wrap this up because, again, I know you guys come here for positive encouragement and motivation. We're still on this weight loss journey. I'm, st I'm nowhere near the end. Journey is still in progress, and I want you guys to keep on board and stay on board. So come back. If you like this video or you just relate in some way, hit the little thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to follow this channel, follow. You'll get notifications when I pop a new video up. Um, Again, guys, have a great Monday. Stay positive. I'm going to. I'm going to do my best, and I'll post again real soon, and, and we'll catch up. Thanks again, guys. If you need anything, have any questions or concerns, or just want to chit-chat about today's video, comment down below. Message me. Ch hit me up on Facebook. Private message me. If I'm busy or I'm at work or I'm... In the middle of something, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can, I promise. You have my word. Have a good day. Happy Monday, everybody. Positive vibes. And if you're in a dark place right now, find the light. That's what I'm going to go do after my nap and try to get rid of this headache. Thanks again.